Now before this video starts, there has been an issue where my videos have not been going to sub boxes, so some of my videos have basically gotten zero views pretty much. So if you have missed any videos, go to my channel, check them out, and please go next to my name, click on the little bell, click notifications on, so you get a notification every time I upload one of these sexy videos. I fucking love you. YouTube, how you doing today? Dolph Riddle here, bringing you another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered video, and today we are going to talk about something that I feel is not many people talk about, and that's the reason that everyone continues to hate on Call of Duty no matter what game it is. Because as we both know, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare just came out and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered came out and all you're seeing on YouTube at the moment is videos outlining the issues that both of the games have, whether it be the old school Modern Warfare Remastered or the Infinite Warfare game that pretty much no one likes. But all you, all you find on YouTube, including myself, we've just done videos on things that people hate and I wanted to have a think about with you guys, why that is. Why everyone seems to hate every Call of Duty game that comes out. No one can ever be fucking happy. And I'm pretty sure it's just because people want the perfect game. Everyone wants to be able to play the perfect Call of Duty. And you seriously, you can't, like, cater for everybody. Everyone's hating on, hating on Modern Warfare Remastered because of Juggernaut, Final Stand, Marty Dom, the M16. Those things. But if you take those things out of the game, well, it's not Call of Duty 4 then, is it? People are just trying to pick out little things from certain games to build this one giant Call of Duty that everyone apparently is going to fucking love. But even if you did that, there would still be people that hate the game. If you get the intervention from Modern Warfare 2 and put it in a game, then all the people that don't snipe are going to say, well, the intervention is too overpowered. And if you get the best assault rifle from one of the games, then everyone that snipes is going to say, oh, the assault rifle is too overpowered. You can't win. Not everyone is the same person. Not everyone is going to like every game that comes out, and the Call of Duty makers must fucking hate life, seriously. Because snipers think that regular guns are overpowered, and regular red gunners think that snipers are way fucking overpowered because they're one-shot kills. So, the red gunners, they put Juggernaut on so they don't get killed instantly, and the snipers run around with stopping power to try and kill the people using Juggernaut and red guns, but then they get frustrated because they can't one-shot them, and then everyone hates the game, everyone makes hating videos, and then no one plays the game anymore because of two things in the game that, you know, kind of cancel each other out, so, you know what, just let everyone be happy. I think, what, to make people happy, all Call of Duty need to do is make, release two Call of Duties in one year. One Call of Duty only has snipers in it, and the other Call of Duty only has red guns. This could be a great marketing point for them, I think, you know, a sniping Call of Duty, Call of Duty sniper warfare, and then Call of Duty, I'm a pussy warfare with the red guns. If you're watching this Call of Duty, if you're one of my 20 or 30 viewers, you should definitely definitely take this idea on board. Then you will stop having 12 year olds comment at you being OH MY GOD THE SNIPERS ARE SO OVERPOWERED! And then the other snipers sitting in the background from all of Duty, from the old school Call of Duty is going FOR FUCK'S SAKE I'M SICK OF THESE FUCKING PUSSIES WITH JUGGERNAUT FUCKING M16 CUNTS Cause seriously if you go in game chat that's all you can hear those, those two things FUCK YOU JUGGERNAUT FUCK YOU M16 FUCK YOU SNIPERS That's, that's all you hear ever That's all you hear Everyone just wants the perfect Call of Duty but it's never going to happen. Everyone just needs to lower their expectations every year and realize that none of the Call of Duty games are perfect. If they re-released a remastered version of Modern Warfare 2, you would then see all the issues that Modern Warfare 2 actually had back in the day that people complained about. You would get noob tubed every five fucking seconds and you would hate the game within two weeks. They're fucking great games, I admit they're great games, but every game has its flaws and it's pretty much impossible to make the perfect game and Call of Duty have never made the perfect game. There is the best ones, there is the worst ones, but even if they've re-released the best ones like they have with COD 4, everyone's still going to pick out issues because that's just what people like to do. So if you're watching this right now, I want you to sit there and think, Call of Duty, is it really that fucking bad or am I just sitting here picking out all the little stupid things about it and thinking, fuck this is a bad game because it's not the perfect game that I fucking like? That's what I want you to think about. And if the answer is you are just nitpicking at stupid shit, I want you to get on Call of Duty 4 right now and play the fucking shit out of it. Because it's a fucking great game. There is issues with this. Issues with every game, like I said. But come on. Those games take so long to make, and if you really grind them out, I guarantee you'll fall in love with them, just like I did with COD 4 back in the day. We can't just wait a year, every single fucking year, 365 days for a new COD just to complain about it. There's no point. We're all going to buy it anyway. We may as well fucking enjoy the game. So if you agree with me, guys, and you do want to enjoy Call of Duty, you want to put all this petty shit behind us, please do smash the like button on this video. If you are new around here, please be sure to subscribe. It does make me very happy. And as always, guys, this is Dolph Riddle, and I'll see you guys in the next video.